kills many people throughout East Asia every single year. Ah! I am on the hunt for the deadliest sting in all of Borneo. And if I'm able to catch one of these super aggressive insects, I'm going to take a sting for myself to see just how painful it really is. Eyes up, these killers attack from the sky. So right now we are looking for flowering plants because in all likelihood, that's where we're gonna find what we're after. The hornet itself does eat nectar and fruit, but it also hunts bees, which are attracted to flowers as well. So these banded hornets are really opportunistic. Oh man, we are in the thick of it now. Snake, guys, we got a snake right here. Borneo keeled viper. It is venomous and it is a really good size one too, but so I can get it down. Oh, she's heavy. My goodness. You see what I mean now? That's why I want to be especially careful with this snake. I do believe she's carrying young, so she's what's called gravid, and she's about to give birth to a lot of baby snakes. Oh, oh, oh. So do you see that anytime she gets more than half of her body length out of my hook? I do a reset. As long as I have the hook in that first quarter, I'm fairly safe. Now you would not want to take a bite from this viper as docile as she is being right now, we can't let her guard down. In, in an instant, this snake could wake up, decide to become aggressive, and a bite from this animal would be a very dangerous situation. How's that for a shot? It's named the keeled viper because of the scales. They have a little ridge that goes in between each individual scale. Unlike most pit vipers, it has a much thicker jawline. It has a very robust and bold appearance. And then when you combine that with the coloration of this reptile, it's a knockout. We gotta cover some ground. We gotta get out of this canopy and hopefully find some flowers. I'm not sure there's gonna be many hornets hanging out in this dense jungle here. Oh, wow, here's a flower. Guys, come check this out. This is called a Rafflesia flower. It is the national flower of Borneo, but it actually has a much more common name, the rotting corpse flower. Being that I've never encountered one of these before, you know I gotta test it. It definitely stinks. Not nearly as bad as I thought. Spoiled barbecue, no big deal. We're gonna head up here where there's more light and hopefully more flowers. I'm hearing a lot of buzzing. I got flowers, guys. Big flowers in there. Something's buzzing up there. I think we got one. I think we got one. Watch out, guys. Watch out. I got it. Yes. Woo! We got one. Let's go to this clearing. I'm gonna get the jar. Oh baby, oh my goodness, that is it. The banded hornet, the deadliest stinging insect in all of Borneo. It is huge, look how big it is. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we got one. And it looks mean. Let's go set up the stink table. Let's do this. First up close look at one of the insect killers of Borneo, the banded hornet. And it is enormous, easily twice the size of hornets that I'm used to seeing. And look at that bright yellow band across the abdomen, an obvious reason as to how it got its name. Now there are two types of banded hornets. There are banded hornets in the mainland of East Asia, and then there are banded hornets and the tropical regions. And you could tell the difference mainly because the mainland hornet band stops right in the middle. So you see a black line above the yellow. The tropical version of this hornet has a yellow band that extends all the way to the top of the abdomen. And of course, here we are in the tropics. So this is in fact that species. But between the two, this one is known to be much more aggressive and it kills many people throughout East Asia every single year. In fact, in 2018 alone, this species of hornet killed seven people in Indonesia. And that is because of the toxicity of its venom and the aggression of the colonies of these hornets. They do nest, they do hive up, and when people are swarmed by these and inflicted with multiple stings, 
it can almost lead to instant anaphylactis, instant shock. And sadly, yes, many people lose their lives due to those unfortunate encounters. But today, and because of all the stings that I've done before, and my knowledge of what to do in case of an emergency situation from a sting, I am willing to go flesh to stinger with the terror that is known as the banded hornet of Borneo. And it looks intense, preparing itself for what is gonna be probably one of my worst stings. Mm. The nerves are kicking in. I'm gonna take a sting on this arm. Got a little aftermath still going there from a different sting, but this is a nice blank canvas. Because this hornet could have a potentially emergency outcome to this sting test, let's just do a quick review, guys, on the EpiPen. If I need the EpiPen and I can't administer myself, this is what you do. Remove the pen from the container. Both blue caps come off, exposing the needle. You jam it into either of my legs. You depress the top for 10 seconds. Pull it out. And that will give me enough medicine to make it to where I can get more help. Okay, guys, here we go. Out of the container. Try to do it without getting it too fired up so I can get a good hold on it. I see the stinger going. Got a bad hole, I've got it between the sheets. I'm gonna keep chasing it until it gets a dead end. Check to make sure I got a good hold. I gotta get hold. There it is. I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the banded hornet of Borneo on three. One, two, three. got away. Oh, buddy. It got me. Oh. Oh, wow. Ooh, that burns. Oh. Yeah. Instant searing pain. Stinger went deep right away. flew off almost immediately. No one else was stung, thankfully. But that was a powerhouse of a sting, guys. It's like making my hand shake. All right, let's just monitor. Forgot to monitor this for like at least a half hour, guys. I'm not out of the woods by any means. It's been about 10 minutes after the sting. You can still see the blood at where the sting site was. A lot of the stings that I take remain in the upper parts of the skin, in the dermis of the skin. This one clearly went into the bloodstream and it itches so bad already. Typically itching does not set in for at least like 12 hours to a day. I have never experienced this on any sting before. And it still hurts, let's be really, really clear. It does not feel good at all, but the itching is starting to overpower the pain. So unusual. But it's time to rank this insect this banded hornet from Borneo on the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. And as always, it's going to be on three factors, intimidation, pain, and the aftermath. Roll it. 
On intimidation, the banded hornet certainly looks intense. It's easily twice as large as your average hornet, and they almost warn you not to touch them with that bright yellow banding. Plus, they do have that reputation of being the most deadly sting in Borneo, which is terrifying given how many stinging insects live out here. So for that, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. For pain, once the stinger dug into my skin and started dosing me with its venom, it was immediate. And the sting radiated throughout my entire arm, engulfing my forearm in searing pain. And it drew a drop of blood on top of that, which only happens with the most serious of stings. And it definitely made me nervous. Given all those factors, it easily earns its 8.1 out of 10 for pain. The aftermath of the banded hornet continues to earn it some serious points. That stinger went in deep and caused serious itching right away, which I have never experienced before. I went through wave after wave of pain, and we had to closely monitor my symptoms to make sure I wasn't having an allergic reaction. It also caused a shocking bullseye reaction on my arm, which is always concerning. Anytime I would get active in the days following, the swelling would come rushing back, including the horrible itch, which lasted for a full 48 hours. And for that, it gets an aftermath score of a solid 8 out of 10. All factors combined, the Bandit Hornet ranks at an 8.2 on the Brave Wilderness BSI, beating out the cow killer from Arizona, but falling just short of the giant black carpenter bee, also from Borneo. Wow, this place stings. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to search for the Brave Wilderness channel on YouTube so you can join me and the crew on our upcoming adventures.